So we are almost at the end of day two, basically almost end of the conference. Let's get started with the closing address. I am Chandan Kumar. I am the chair of PyCon India 2021. We are hosting developer sprints tomorrow. It's going to happen between 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. in IST time zone at Hopin and Dulem. Let's take a look how was the day since today is the last day of the conference. And I tried to scrap some of the traits from the tweeters to highlight from the reflections of uh, movies. Your screen is not there, Chandan. Sorry. Okay. Seared screen. Can you see my screen? Yes. Sorry. Uh, welcome once again. Sorry for the mistake. Uh, it's basically because of the excitement of the conference ending. So we are at the closing address of day two of the conference. So tomorrow we are going to host developer sprint, which is going to happen between 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the evening at Hopin and Zulip. Let's take a look at how was the day. So here I have scrapped some of the traits uh, and here are the things people are saying about like people really liked uh, when all our local user community collaborated together to make PyCon India happen. Audience are saying like speakers tries to put the talks in such a way they are easily understood by them. The hallway tracks were full, basically the gamma tracks were one of the C Python core developer is sharing how he broke his coffee machine. Our hosts are showing their setup, like how they were managing the whole thing by handling the stage as well as learning from the talk. Um, many people have liked the keynote and found amazing that like Python used a uh, particular accelerators. Every talks has given a lots of takeaways and some of them has already shared on the Twitter. Uh, few talks from Ishanan, that was an enlightening session. And someone is saying like, so gratifying to see an expert proposing programming to learn versus learn to program. Uh, thanks to our panelist from diversity in cybersecurity and neurodiversity and inclusion for sharing their insights on these two topics. It was really awesome. And one of the most important thing, people volunteer at PyCon India and during volunteering, they learn these things. In case of like urban learned in design, Jatin is very proud that like he has got a very great family while PyCon India is basically a big family who made Python conference possible. And mentors feel proud when these students do awesome work. And by seeing the attendees' feedback, it makes us awesome. Let's take a look at the conference analytics, like how was the overall conference? So here it comes from the Hopin. So as I was saying in the morning, like we have more than 1200 people registered for this year conference on Hopin itself, 950 plus people have checked in. The overall attendance ratio was 8.6. Every time spent by a user was like eight hours, 48 meters, minutes and around we have 90% turnout, which is like huge. Uh, if you 
take a look at the messages around 2480 chat messages were exchanged 460 networking meetings were happened by using the networking features and around 126 connections requests were made that's pretty awesome now it's time to say goodbye to PyCon India. For, before that, this conference was made possible because of many peoples and may, many companies behind the scenes. I would like to start thanking one by each of them. First, I would like to thank in-kind sponsors, Packet, Twitter, EPAB, Deep Source, IBM Quantum, Wipro's Technology, Fulfill, and Efrost, who manages our accounts. Without whom, we can't make it possible. Our outreach partners play an important role in advertising about these conferences, like InfoSec Girls, Alias, Null Community, Post United. Thank you all. For running a conference, uh, the local user communities act as the skeleton or the pillars for the PyCon India conference each year. Bank Piper, Chennai Pi, Pi Ladies, Pi Delhi, Python Pune, Hyderabad, Pi, and Pi Japers. These are the local user communities who made PyCon India possible. Thank you and thanks a lot to them. PyCon India is a very great event. Mm, big event. It is totally driven by volunteers. It's planning executions, uh, execution till completion. So today we are about to reach the completion phase. It's almost about to end. If I remember correctly, uh, we used to host weekly things and we used to invite each of them, each of the volunteers who we are working very hard. I remember correctly, like we have spent 26 Picks, more than 26 picks on calls on Friday at 9 p.m., 9.30 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. discussing about the how the teams are going, uh, how we are keeping the stuff on track and everything. Before that, being the volunteers, this conference would not be possible because of the keynotes. I would like to thank all the keynote speakers and talk speakers panelists and BOF moderators, neurodiversity speakers, host representation, and also the dot extend speakers. They have put their time to make this conference awesome. Moving ahead, as I was saying, the volunteers, they are actually the blood of this conference and who made it possible. Thank you all the volunteers who made it awesome for this year online. I know the time is not great. We are not offline, but like we are connected together. Let me share their pictures on the big screen so that you can see them. And someone confirm like they can see the screen. Can we say a big clap for all of them who have made this conference possible? Let me first unmute. Like, can you? Hear? Uh, do I need to say it? Give me a minute. Sorry. Give me a minute, like, let me do that. Can you see it in the main, on the main? Yeah. Yeah. Can you see? We can, Chandan. Can you see the screen? Kalyan, can you come on the stage and 
Yes, yeah. yes, Chandan. Yeah, Let, let's big clap for them. Yeah. So these are the people behind the scenes who made the conference possible. Uh, uh, let me mute this part and let me go back here. So I'd like to call each of the volunteers and the working groups who had made this possible. Uh -huh. Let me present again, once again. So when we think about starting a conference, like the first thing comes in your mind is the code of conduct. So this year, the code of conduct working group is led by Meenal, Shukanya, Pushpalata, uh, Shayan, Navarun, and me. So thanks to all of them for leading this working group. Another thing, so once we have the code of conduct, we always think about the website and other infrastructure, whether our bill service is working fine or not, whether our CFP, in our case, it was the junction, whether it is set up or not, all the fields are populated or not. I would like to call Nabarun, Farhan, and Sayan for that, making it all possible we try to bug him night at the middle of night to deploy the peers and most that. So a big clap for them also. Next comes to the story is the content and design. So we, so we have code of conduct in place. We got all the sites and everything. We have planned all the stuff, but we need a good design team and the content team who can write the content for us so that like we can drop the mails and make our announcements that icon idea is happening. I'd like to call Bipul and Nikhil, and he was joined with many volunteers in this two course of 26 weeks. I'd like to thank all of them. Our biggest design creator was Arvind, and thank you, Arvind, for all the work you have done. So if you are seeing all the banners, tweets, posts on the banners, that's all made possible by Arvind and Tanya. Thank you for doing that. Now, so when we make the announcement uh, later on once, then we think about like when is the CFP is going to open. So there are lots of works involved that they are the persons who are responsible for making sure like we announce call for proposals on time, as well as workshop on time. They try to contact as many speakers as possible so that they can reach out to most important personality so that they can submit their talks so that we can select awesome talks to for the conference. So they are the people behind that. They also manage dev sprints and they also work on bringing awesome keynote speakers. So a big clap to Gazendra and Lhasa followed by so many other speakers. Next is like our conference was very diverse this year. We have neurodiversity and, and inclusion and experience sharing sessions. These all things were put together by Pandana and Sukanya especially. Thank you, Sukanya, for doing that. It was really awesome. And thank you for leading the team. So we announced the conference. We dropped the mail and everything. But we need to bring the crowd also where it comes the promotions team. You might have seen social media posts bombarded at many places from PyCon India time. This all were made possible by many people behind the team. I would like to call Ryan, Sivang, Abhishek, Mekha, Dibya, and many other volunteers who were behind the scenes. And they have put a huge amount of work to make sure we post about each of the talks, tweets, they try to post each talks, photos, and poster, which was created by Arvind. And they had done a really awesome job. So a big clap to them also. And next, once like the once the CAP closes, then, then people comes into the action. There comes the review team who, re, who tries to find the awesome reviewer or subject matter experts and and they try to find 
most appropriate awesome talks and try to contact with the speakers and make sure they prepare their slides and help them so that like a speaker can put all the stuffs in the talks so that their talks gets reviewed and get selected i would like to thank kalyan rahul or uh, um hars and many other people behind the scenes who made this possible thank you kalyan and others volunteers for doing that once review is done that the, in last one month you might be interacting with people like who are helping in re, you in refining your talks like or for the system checkups the team does a hard work from last one month it was led by bhavin and akshay and many others volunteers and they worked tirelessly with other teams in multiple time zones so that like speakers uh, can deliver their content in an awesome way without hesitations so thank you bhavin and akshay for leading the team and others volunteers who involved in that and last not the least comes to the platform working group so this year we were using hopin and julep for hosting our conference and it was made possible by jatin and his team thank you jatin for doing that we have hit basically many road blockers in that in the platform uh and jatin and the team has tried to make it possible to host the conference seamlessly today so everything was running fine and like your finance and tickets plays an important role in that because because it like it's one of the portion of the conference without it we can't host the conference so thank you and this working group are basically led by sanchit and the chairs so thank you sanchit for leading that like be they were able to reach 1200 plus attendees because of that and a lot of conference volunteers today in last from last 3 days made the conference execution successfully you have seen so many people with organizer tags and without organizer tags on the jlip channel helping me you out throughout the conference so that you can learn and interact with them so thank you all the volunteers which was led by sasang mm -hmm. thank you for doing that and this whole team but led by four people and guided by so many stakeholders i would like to call out shayan our emirates chair anirudh and ritesh our co chairs to guiding the team in each and every time from last 26 picks to make that possible there are other people whom i missed those are and those are the parts of program working group those are prabin and subo prabin worked tirelessly to put the panels which were like hit yesterday and subo tries to gather so many bff proposals for us and it went awesome thank you subendu and prabin for doing that and last not the least without you the conference would not be possible thank you all the attendees thank you a very big thanks to you now i like to rest my case and time to say goodbye and see you all next year have a nice night ahead